Hello, Assalamualaikum. Uh, we are from group 9 of lecture group 1. We'll be presenting about stabilizer on recurve bow. So, there are five of us, uh, which are uh, Amir, uh, Luqman, Muaz, Arif Amsha, and Muhammad Akmal. Hi, my name is Muhammad Akmal, and what I'm holding right now is the recurve bow. And this long rod is called the stabilizer. This is also called the stabilizer, short stabilizer. Now, the function of the stabilizer is to stabilize the movement during the aiming process and also to reduce the vibration of the bow after the shot has been executed. Now, our research is mainly about how uh, stabilizer affect the vibration system. So what we are going to do is to compare between the bow that have a stabilizer system and the bow that doesn't have the stabilizer, stabilizer system. The result will be discussed as after this. Thank you. So, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the moment the arrow has been released, the whole body of the recurve will be vibrate, and that is what we are trying to prevent, so that the arrow will be fly in a smooth manner. Stabilizer as absorber. Basically, absorber is a mass that attached to one body and act to reduce the vibration as it absorbs the energy of the system. As for bow, the vibration produced is quite high and the stabilizer will observe the vibration after the arrow has been released. Next is the objectives of our project. Uh, the first one will be to compare analytical and numerical solution sing of single degree of freedom for recurve bow without stabilizer. And the second one is to compare numerical solutions for two degree of freedom with and without stabilizer. Next, we will be talking about uh, three parts of general approaches. Uh, so, the first one is analytical solution with MATLAB coding. Analytic, analytical solution is uh, determined by solving equation of motion by using ODE and PDE. The next one is the next part is numerical solution with simulink. So, equation of motion used to construct block diagram. Uh, then the and then the percentage difference between analytical solution and numerical solution is done to ensure the credibility of both of our solution and then the last part is the introducing stabilizer into system of two degree of freedom uh, by designing the block diagram to find total response of system so the next points of uh, for discussion is uh, the first one is comparison of analytical and numerical method which is in the uh, discussion part and then introducing the stabilizer into the system to degree of freedom and then uh, recommendations and lastly the conclusions now for, for the first part what we did is that we generate an equation for a bow uh, that doesn't have the stabilizer and generate an ODE solution so that we can use it as a guideline to do the coding in the MATLAB as the analytical method and also we simulate a, a simulating block diagram uh, for the numerical method and based on our finding between ODE1 and ODE8 ODE1 is much more closer of the value uh, to the analytical solution so ODE1 was used to be compared uh, for the experiment uh, for the second part Introducing the stabilizer. On the left hand side is the system response without stabilizer. On the right hand side is the system response with stabilizer. As we can see, after adding stabilizer in the system, we can see the graph immediately close to zero compared to the system without stabilizer. So our recommendation on how to improve the vibration reduction on the bow system is to add any dampening elements such as rubber because rubber has a high dampening properties whether you can put it on the bow or also on the stabilizer and next is that we use a stabilizer that has a high stiffness by manipulating the material of the stabilizer and also the diameter of the stabilizer we can also use a multi-rod stabilizer to further add the stiffness and a dampening value that can reduce the vibration of the system. In conclusion, absorber reduces the vibration of the whole system, which means the amplitude of the system also lower. As we can see, the amplitude without stabilizer is 1.218 while the amplitude with stabilizer is 0 0.757, which is lower than amplitude without stabilizer. 
and the rejection percent is 37.77%. That's all from us. Thank you for watching.